It's live from last week, episode 18. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. This week, I'm starting you off with doing the Insanity Max 30 workout which is pretty much a 30 minute straight intense workout with only two 30 second breaks in between. So if you want to try it out thinking that you have a good fitness level, I double diggity dog dare ya. But if you're really curious about the exercises in this workout, check out this music video sample. So yesterday was April 20th and for some people out there it's a special day for them for particular reasons. And that being said I found the fiance rolling some stuff in the corner and little did I know this is what she was rolling. And on this day, she was also cooking up a storm, making some pancit. So I got something to show you guys. This is what happened last night. This. What is this? If you don't know what this is, this is snow. On April 21st, almost the end of April, we have snow. Look at this. It's not supposed to be snowing at this time. Oops. Sorry phone. So today is April 22nd and I don't know if you can tell by this video but a month into spring it's still snowing outside. Compare that to how it was earlier in March. So I just want to let you know it's a glorious 18 degrees outside right now. I mean look at it. I'm in my t-shirt and my shorts. But anyways, today is also a special day. I want to wish you guys out there a happy Earth Day. So if you guys want to celebrate environmentally today, feel free to turn off the lights when you're not using them, conserve water by only opening faucets for what you need, and go outside, get some fresh air, and pick up a couple pieces of litter that you can put in the garbage in its right place. And by doing that, we can all do our part for the environment. And before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings. First, I have a birthday greeting to John. Happy birthday, John. I remember when you were just starting university at U of T, joining FSAT and seeing you at FSAT tutoring, to taking up a leadership role at FSAT during your later years at U of T. I hope you're staying well at this time, John, and I hope you have a happy birthday. I also have another birthday greeting for my Tita Tootsie. Happy birthday, Tita. I'm remembering the many times that you guys would host fam jams and potlucks at your house and helping drive me back downtown after those parties with Baon. I hope you're staying healthy out there, Tita, and that you have a happy birthday. So I just want to say before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, even though this wasn't on purpose or coordinated for Earth Day, having coworkers like this makes shifts fun and go by so much faster. Nonetheless, today we have a couple birthday greetings. Just have a birthday greeting for Justin. Happy birthday, Justin. I'm remembering a while back visiting you and your brother in LA to watch a Clippers game. And now you're married and you have a little one. I hope everything's going well with you, Justin, and you have a happy birthday. I have another birthday greeting for Erica. Happy birthday, Erica. I remember seeing you as the little sister of Carlene at the San Miguel events that we used to go to. And now you too have a little one and a family. I hope you and your family are staying safe out there and you have a happy birthday, Erica. And now I have another birthday greeting for Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I remember being in high school and you being one of the other Filipino students back home. I hope you're doing well out there, Paul, and you have a happy birthday. Also have another birthday greeting to Lillian. Happy birthday, Lillian. I'm remembering times in university, having class with her back at Ryerson. 
and running into her every so often in the area we used to live at Church in Carlton. I hope you're staying safe out there Lillian and you have a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting to Dave. Happy birthday Dave. I remember back in the day when we used to play house league soccer together and I remember seeing this guy being blazing fast and scoring goals in bunches. Anyways Dave, I hope you're doing well with your family, you're staying safe and you have a happy birthday. And one more thing before I go into my night shift tonight. I was doing some research last night and I saw a Facebook ad for a potential biggest Facebook purchase yet. Should I tell you what it is? Or I think you guys might have to wait for tomorrow. Which is in a couple seconds anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, it's on to tomorrow for my biggest potential Facebook Marketplace purchase. Alright, so it's Saturday afternoon. Let's go check it out. And when I said check it out, I meant go on a test drive. But the thing is, stupid me, I forgot to video record the actual test drive. So there goes that segment. But aside from the car having a couple of issues here and there, and the owner even lowering the price because of said issues, I decided to let the owner know that I'll sleep on it before making a decision. But there's one more buyer that will come tomorrow to check out the car. And tomorrow or the next day, the seller will update me if the car is still available. And if it's still available, it was meant to be. If not, then it wasn't meant to be. So, I was looking on Facebook earlier today, and I saw that one of my friends posted this, a rare visit to an Arby's in the GTA. And it got me craving some bacon cheddar and curly fries. Bacon cheddar curly fries, bacon cheddar curly fries. So, since it's nice outside and I forgot to do a video of my test drive yesterday, I've decided that it's a good time to do a challenge, go on an adventure, and get some Arby's today. So let's go. So after I traveled about two hours there and back to get my Arby's, it was cold, it was windy, also had some gusts up to 50 kilometers an hour, I was finally able to enjoy my food. And what I ordered instead of the bacon cheddar curly fries like I initially wanted, off their Arby's 2 for $10 menu, I ordered the Arby's Greek Euro as well as the Arby's Greek Euro fries. And as you can tell by this dish, I was not disappointed. And talking about things that also didn't disappoint, yesterday was a big three championship title UFC event. Which, if you haven't seen it, included a broken leg from a kick, an exciting well technical clinic shown by Valentina Shevchenko, an amazing knockout kick by Thug Rose, as well as an undisputed welterweight KO punch to end off the night. So all in all, it was probably one of the best UFC pay-per-views that I can remember. But now, I want to turn your attention to a program that I've been learning new languages with called Duolingo. And the fact that I've been on it for almost 3 or 4 years now. And check this out, I'm coming up to a milestone in experience points. So here I go, going for the milestone of 100,000 XP. Boom! 100,000 XP guys! Woo! Boo 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 boo! So, I just wanted to tell you guys to buckle up for story time because today was a busy day. Earlier, I went to the bank for a bank run because I had a potential Facebook Marketplace buy. Honestly, I was supposed to surprise you guys with the purchase of the car that I test drove a couple days ago. But the seller wasn't able to get me a safety certificate for the car. Which means the car might have been unsafe to handle on the roads. So, I had to cancel the purchase. What I did is, I traveled downtown to check out another item on Facebook Marketplace that I had my eye on. But unfortunately, you'll have to tune into next week's episode to see what I got. Another thing that I accomplished today was actually retuning my stationary bike. Mainly because the circuit slipped off, which in turn shifted the crank set, misaligning the belt, causing the belt to fray and come off of its track. Which, all in all, rendered my bike out of order since the beginning of the year. But now that I have the tools and time to work on it, it has now been fixed. And lastly, a couple days ago, I ordered something online. And I would think that since I chose Pure Later, it would be delivered right to my door. Especially when I got this message in an email. And even though it said it got delivered to my front door, when I opened my door, nothing was there. And also when I went down to the lobby, nothing was there either. But later in the evening, a neighbor actually called me and let me know that it was delivered to their front door. But luckily, I have great neighbors and they brought my package from their place right to my front door. 
So let's see what I've got. Whoa. This package is actually pretty heavy. Where's the scissors? Snip, snip, snip. Packaging opening. <sighs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I got my protein! And I can't wait to try these babies out after I work out. But before I work out, I've got a couple of birthday greetings. First, I want to wish Lily a happy birthday. I remember always seeing you at Wysik and always giving you some nursing school advice back when you were working at the front desk. I hope you're doing well on your own now, staying safe and healthy out there, and happy birthday, Lily. Next, I have a birthday greeting to Wayne. Happy birthday, Wayne. I remember playing beach volleyball with you a couple years back, and I just want to say that I thoroughly enjoy seeing your creative photography skills on Facebook. I hope to play with you on the beach again sometime soon, Wayne, and you have a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to Oriana. Happy birthday, Oriana. I'm remembering the times that you would welcome everyone and help run the mass and dinners back in the day at the RCCC. I hope you're staying safe out there at this time, Oriana, and you have a happy birthday. But speaking of throwbacks, I wanted to take the time to rewind to something that I've been wanting to do for months. My bedroom blinds have been like this since the beginning of the year, with these two blinds here being broken and they've been laying on my windowsill for months now. So I'm just making this post to keep me accountable to one day fixing these blinds. Which actually brings us to the present day for the lesson of the week, meaning it's time for the lesson of the week. I hope you guys learned something this week and that you'll take this hack with you and do it sometime in the future. But yeah, it's coming up to the end of the episode, so if you enjoyed what you were watching, please follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.